Dr. Tracy Shear here. Shaul Tim here from San Diego. Spinal surgeon. April Spinal Patterson. Surgeon. Physical therapist. So we had a really interesting discussion about Tarloff cysts. So here's the dilemma. Yes. Most Tarloff cysts are asymptomatic. That is true. But that is not the same thing as saying all Tarloff cysts are asymptomatic because some clearly are. If you can distinguish the symptomatic from the asymptomatic, then you could treat a small group of patients that we've pretty much ignored for many, many years. And it turns out you can do that relatively easily by doing what I call a diagnostic injection. You can put a medicine through the tailbone called caudal epidural. And if you include both an anesthetic and the steroid, and you have the patient monitor their symptoms mm -hmm. before versus after the injection. Right. In patients that get a marked change in their symptoms, that is a very good indicator that the tarlopsis is symptomatic. Uh, that's no the question, because it's not just size either, right? I mean, no. Because right. I always heard my size might be small and not a problem, but it's yes. really more symptomatic. Versus asymptomatic. Right. And you're right. Okay. As they get bigger, they're more likely to get symptomatic, and okay. that's the rub. Traditionally, we just wait for them to get really big, oh. and they get to the end stage of the disease, yes. like urinary incontinence. Then we finally do surgery, and guess what happens? They don't do well. Because so, it's gone too long. It's yes. way too long. too long. Yes. So okay. spine surgeons reluctantly <laughs> operate on Tarlov cysts. They know it's going to be a terrible outcome, and it's because we don't have like the right protocol to identify the patient and treat them appropriately. And just by doing this diagnostic injection, you get them way earlier. Mm. And guess what? They're some of my most successful surgery patients. It's shocking. And this is so vital because, like I said, in all the years I've treated, I've treated a lot of patients that had Tarlop. The question was, they'd look at it, so they go to a specialist, and they'd be like, oh, it's not big enough, or, so, or it's just too small. And so it was never diagnosed. Yep. Yeah. And this so injection we do all the time for other yeah. reasons. So okay. yeah. if there's one thing I can uh, wish for, it would be that uh, everyone pays more attention to diagnostic tests that allows us to identify things earlier mm -hmm. and make a diagnosis where we distinguish things that look exactly the same on MRI, but one of them will be terribly symptomatic and the other one will be asymptomatic and incidental. Yeah. And you have to find that one patient in, I don't know how many, but that one patient for them, it's 100%. And if you find yes. that patient, they are, they're some of my happiest patients. It's shocking. How long